Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Merrick here. This is another video of the puzzle series for a year. And this is day 159. So it is white to move after queen takes g2. So please pause the video here. Okay, so the first move is knight f6 check. Okay, so knight f6 check, it opens up this attack on the rook and it checks the king. G takes f6, and now we take on h8. So notice how our king is pretty much safe. Any check that the black king gives, our king just goes to d2, and it will hide on c1 perfectly comfortable. Like, let's say queen f2 check, king c2. Let's say takes, we play bishop c5, we pin this bishop on f8, and we just win it. Um, rook takes f8, check is coming next. So, Black plays b6 to prevent bishop c5. Now, what do we do here? There are a couple of options, like bishop b5 check always looks enticing. We could try to play e4 to play bishop b5 check, but I think after c6, black is pretty much okay. However, the engine seems to disagree with me. I'm guessing it just wants to do something else, like, like um, taking on e5. Not sure, but we should probably consult it. Knight takes e4. It's not afraid of bishop b5 because king e6, e takes f6, king e6, and it says black is fine even after I'm taking on f8 because there's perpetual check after I think this, and it's just a draw. So, I think here, what will black play? Knight e6 and queen e4. So, this is interesting. Yeah, this puzzle has a lot of interesting lines, but the right move here is just play e takes f6. Uh, the point of e takes f6 is it captures the pawn, obviously, but it also creates like some threats of bishop if rook takes f8. Like, for example, let's say black just like plays check here, check here, and then, I don't know, he just goes like a5 or something. We can play bishop b4 check, king d8, and then rook takes uh, f8. That's one of the checkmate threats, as well as, let's say, here, we could play like bishop c5. This is some interesting line because if b takes c5, there is bishop b5 check, right? a takes b5, only move. And then we can play uh, rook takes f8 check, king takes f8, and then rook d8 checkmate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this puzzle. It has quite a bit of complexities to it. However, it was a little bit more simpler than the puzzle from yesterday, day 158. If you haven't watched it, go check that. But thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe. That will really help. So without further ado, thank you for watching. See you in day 160.